Hey there, dude drops. It's Diane from Coravina. How are you? Welcome back to Water Marbling. Today, we're going to make a beautiful scarf. Are you ready? Let's take a peek at our inspiration. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? This is cross stitch art. We're going to be looking at all different types of cross stitch art this week for inspiration. I just gravitate towards beautiful things. And if we can make a scarf look like this, won't it be beautiful? Even if it's just a little bit like that. All right, so we are making scarves. I know it's been such a long time. I feel a little out of practice. Let me show you our colors, okay? Because there's a whole bunch, as you can see from this beautiful picture right here. All right, here we go. So I've got four teals from our clouds. Then we're gonna go light blue, medium blue, dark blue. And we've got a little bit, so we've got green down towards the bottom with some yellow flowers. Okay, so, and a little bit of yellow in the sunset. So this is what we're working with. Let's see what happens. It's been a long time. All right, so I'm gonna adjust our cameras here. That's not what I want either. It's been so long, I forget what all my buttons do. All right, here we go. Let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is remove the dust and debris from the surface of our tray. All right. And then we're just gonna start dropping things in here. So do drops, really, how are you? How have you been? Hope everybody's doing well. Everything is good here at my house. We have all been healthy, uh, which is, you know, a big deal right now. And everybody's happy. We had a great holiday. The kids have been in school for a week and they are coming back. This is their second week. Um, so we're excited about that. And I keep telling them like, appreciate while you've got it because um, before Christmas, my second grader was in school, oh, I think like maybe eight weeks or two weeks out of the eight weeks before school. So. You know it's been a challenge for everybody these teachers are absolute champions i don't know how they do it with all of the online learning and whatnot but the good news to all of that is that we're finally getting our our uh, routine down so my kids no longer act like it's a it's a surprise that they have to do their e-learning on days they're not in school now they understand what is required of them and that's half the battle all right so we're adding our teal in oh i like our puffy clouds Maybe we'll do a big puff here. Another big puff here. Isn't this an interesting cross stitch pattern? I think it's really interesting. I used to watch my mom cross stitch when I was a little girl and it, to me, looked really boring, um, but also yet very interesting. So now, <laughs> now I would totally do it if I didn't have my hands full with other things. All right, let's get a little crazy in here with our sky. Do a couple of big whooshes. And then I'm gonna come in here with our darker teal. Darker teal right here, where are you? Okay. Maybe we'll do, that's coming out in big splooshes. I kind of like the clouds. So um, this is such a beautiful piece of art and I don't have the name of the artist right in front of me, but if you go to the Coravina Pinterest page, um, there should be a link in the Facebook page. There's definitely links on the website. You can find out the name of this artist. Everything is pinned to the cross stitch Pinterest board. All right guys, so we came in, we started with our blue color. So I feel like we should put in some navy. Okay, so let's move on to some navy next. And we'll do a nice little horizon line. So I hope everybody's doing well. I know I didn't announce this, that I was gonna do this. Um, and simple, simple and not simple part of that is I'm getting burnt out on going live every day. You guys could probably tell I was struggling a little bit with consistency. Uh, towards the end of the holiday season because there's just so much going on, you know? So I'm going to be experimenting with ways that I can still give you guys awesome content and, <laughs> and 
and not get burnt out. All right, because that was a big deal. So we're going live today, and uh, I don't know if we'll go live again. We're gonna add in our yellow here for our little tiny flowers. Interesting stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna go live again um, this week, but my hope is to have new content for you every day. All right, so just bear with me. Sometimes you gotta go through stuff so you can grow, and that's kind of where I am right now. I have to, um, I have to be able to provide new content without being crazy about making content. So, do drops. I hope you're doing well. Everything's going good here. So I'm sure everybody's back to being stressed out after um, the events of last week. I know I am. So I hope you're doing well. Guys, I'm going to come in here with our skewer and let's start making some puppy clouds. What do you think? Nice big puppy clouds. Yes, I am, uh, <laughs> along with everybody, I was shocked, but you don't want to hear about that. I will tell you that my stress continues. So <laughs> I would appreciate some thoughts and prayers if you are the praying type because um my husband is going to dc for the inauguration and you're like ah why <laughs> don't worry he is not um a supporter of anything that happened a lot of you know some of you may not know my husband is a police officer here in cincinnati and um every year that there is an inauguration they ask officers from around the country to come and help with patrolling in the city of DC for all of the festivities. And Greg signed up for this about probably six months ago and we got the confirmation that he was gonna go and do this two months ago. And <sighs> then everything happened last week. So um, I'm sure it'll be fine. But as you can imagine, I'm just really not thrilled about him going. But like I said, it will more than likely be absolutely fine and nothing to worry about. But thoughts and prayers are appreciated. All right, we're going to add in a little bit more blue. I feel like there's a lot of navy and it's going to be kind of faded. All right, so let's keep on going. All right, adding in some more blue. I feel like we've got a lot of navy in the picture mixed with a lighter a lighter blue so we're gonna add in a little bit more navy and i don't know if we're gonna really rake this one around i kind of like it the way it is it's very jackson pollocky you know how i like that i like all the dots that kind of look like sprinkles hmm i feel like it is lacking that bolder green I feel like our green is just not excited about spreading today, and that's fine. We all have reluctant days, do we not? All right. I think we have a ton of paint on this tray, and I think it's going to be good. Maybe I will. No, I'm going to leave the. I'm going to leave the circles. I've got squiggles here. I've got squiggles up here. I like that there are just circles in the middle, little sprinkles. All right. So. This is a fun one. Let's dip our scarf down and see what we've got. I don't know if you guys can hear my music in the background. I'm listening to Caleb. Positive, encouraging Caleb. If you need some of that in your life, you should turn that on. They've got an app, it's really awesome. All right guys, we're gonna dip down a silk scarf and I haven't done this in forever. So think some positive thoughts for me. Oh man, chickened out. I gotta move my other camera. Okay. And I was gonna go live in our group and like film all of these live right in a row. And I had problems with my camera. Yuck. Okay, here we go. Oh man, that actually went pretty well. Dipping down a couple of edges that didn't dip right. 
all in all, not a bad for our first time back. Ooh, I wish I would have hugged this side of the tray a little bit more. You can see I'm missing a lot of my green. Okay, so now it's time to remove our scarf from our tray so we can see what we made. So, Dewdrops, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're not stressed. <laughs> I am sure you are. I was listening to a podcast this morning about anxiety. And, yeah, I mean, I think we're all walking around with a, at least a low level of anxiety right now. But, you know, I do know this. Like, it will pass. It won't be like this all the time. It's just something we got to get through. It's not forever. It's just for now. With everything. And really, here's hoping that 2021 is a ton better than 2022. Okay? All right. So let's pull this up out of the water and see what we've got. Gotta adjust something here. I'm playing around with doing things a different way. All right. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three. All right, so we've got some dripping and running. Oh, uh, we didn't get a lot of green on our scarf in the middle there, but that's okay. I think it's still gonna be an interesting scarf when we hang it up, when we dry it, and then we compare it to what we've got. So over here especially, there's a lot more color. All right, so you see some dripping and running. That's totally normal. Let's put it in our rinse bucket. Hear that nice little plop. All right, so I'm excited about that one. It's been a while since we've done this. So what happens next? Next, I'm gonna let it sit and soak. It's gonna get rid of all that residual paint and water that didn't absorb into the scarf. What happened was we had so much paint and water on the tray that the stuff you saw dripping and running, there just wasn't room for it to soak in and really adhere. Okay, so we'll let it sit and soak. I'm gonna hang it to dry, and then I'm gonna post pictures of our scarf compared to our cross stitch picture and see how close we got okay so are you ready thanks to the magic of youtube here it is what do you think do you like it i hope i like it i hope i like it i think it looks good from here i'm a little disappointed about the green at the bottom so anyways you win some you lose some thank you so much for watching guys remember to like comment or share because that really helps me out you can also check me out on Pinterest to see who made this awesome cross stitch pattern or TikTok. All right. So take care, dewdrops, and I will see you soon. Remember, live colorfully. Goodbye.